the skating in this video is gonna be really good. So I've learned a lot of tricks lately and I'm gonna go through my process of how I learn tricks. It's pretty simple. So I show up to the park early before anybody's here so I can skate alone. Also, I wear compression on like my upper thighs to keep my legs like going when I've been skating all the time. Sometimes they get sore. And just to get rid of that soreness, I wear some tight compression. I use hydration packets in my water. I don't drink soft drinks or anything like that. And I actually sell those hydration packets. I've got a link in the description to my e-commerce store. So yeah, I'm skating boards until they're dead. So what I'm doing right now is I show up to the park and I just kind of cruise around for the first 30 minutes and get warmed up loosened up do tricks that I'm comfortable with and then to learn tricks that I haven't done before I try to find like the safest possible way to to do those tricks so if I'm gonna do a trick on a quarter pipe I'm skating a really small quarter pipe my friend Zach built this one foot tall quarter pipe and I've learned a whole bunch of tricks on it lately because you don't really get hurt and you can try things that you've never done before without any kind of penalties you know when you get hurt it sets you back for a while so another thing so another reason i skate this park is because nobody skates here but also everything's really mellow there's really mellow banks and i think a mellow concrete bank is the best place to learn a flip trick any kind of flip trick because it gives you a little extra lift and you're not going to roll your ankle or anything because it's super mellow you know everything here is easy to skate and it, you don't get hurt I think that's important when you're learning tricks. Not getting hurt, but being able to slowly progress. It's like this picture. Um, if you're trying to climb a ladder, sometimes taking small steps makes a big difference. If you're trying to take a huge step, sometimes it just looks insurmountable. You think you can't do it, but when you take a bunch of little steps, you can reach your goals faster and more often. You know, if you're taking steps that are too big, you may never reach your goals. So yeah, that's all I'm trying to do is take tricks and combine them to make new tricks that I haven't done. So these are really technical tricks like a half cab, blunt, big spin. I've done a big spin, I've done a half cab blunt, I've done a blunt, but I've never done all of those together. I broke my board doing that last time. So pretty soon when I get the time, I'm gonna build a ramp like this, show you guys how to build your own. I think this is important, to have a little quarter pipe, maybe a little low flat bar, and a short, small manual pad. Like these things are essential. Oh, also the flat, mellow bank. That's all you need in a skate park if you wanna progress and get really technical. A low round rail, not a square rail. I just think this is so essential. The little quarter pipe is the easiest thing to learn pivot to fakies. Pivot to fakies are terrifying to learn on a bigger ramp. I learned them on a bigger ramp when I learned them and I got hurt a lot. So having a ramp like this to learn pivot to fakies is just so helpful. Doing like rock to fakie shove out or like pivot shove to fakie on this ramp, it's just a dream ramp for this. It's a 12 gauge steel on the bottom, just thin plywood, uh, two by fours under it, half inch plywood on the sides. It's not that hard to build. There's a ton of videos on how to build quarter pipes and I just think this would really help anybody progress with ramps. Uh, some of the guys, I skated with this, I skated with this guy the other day he did a blunt nose grab to fakie and almost landed it the first time he's ever skated a ramp. So yeah, I mean, a lot of these guys that were skating this ramp had no experience skating ramps before and were just progressing so fast because of the size of this ramp. I also think having a shorter wheelbase and a shorter board helps you do flip tricks and technical tricks better, especially if you're not super tall. I'm about six feet tall, but I still like to have this short setup. So having this 12 inch wheelbase, I feel like shoves, anything that spins this way, like 180s and stuff, are so much easier. If I just wanna spin my board or rotate a 180 really quick or pivot, it's just so much easier with a shorter board, with a shorter wheelbase. That has helped me progress like technically so much. 
having smaller trucks, eight and a quarter trucks, Thunder 148s that are hollow lights, that are really light, has helped me technically too. Because I was skating Indy 169s with like a 1075 board for about a year, and I was progressing on vert, but I wasn't really progressing when it comes to flat ground or flip tricks and stuff like that. So having that little light board that's really tech has helped me a lot. Uh, improve my technical skills. So yeah, just take things slow. Just find an object that you haven't skated at all at the skate park. You've never done anything on it. And just stare at it for a while. And just contemplate on what you could do on it. And then just mess around. Pivot a lot. Do no complies. Take your feet off. Grab the board. Do weird things that you're not comfortable with. Things that you haven't experimented with before. That's how I learned this little nose pivot disaster off the ledge. I don't even know what to call this. I've never seen anyone do it before. I'm sure like Andy Anderson or somebody's done it before, but stuff like this, it's just messing around and goofing off and spending time on your board. Spend time on your skateboard. That's the best way to get better at skateboarding. Just spend time riding it. Ride it everywhere. Also, I think different shaped boards, uh, messing around with different sizes, different shapes, cutting pieces of your board off, experimenting, uh, things like that definitely help progress uh, certain tricks. Certain boards are good at one trick, other boards are better at another trick. So experimenting with different boards, different trucks, different wheels, cutting pieces off, you know, that's gonna help you progress in weird ways. Sometimes doing a new trick is as easy as taking a trick you would do on one obstacle and transferring it to another. So let's say you normally do rock to fakies, on that quarter pipe. Well, what if you did a rock to fakie on this ledge? Uh, it might not be as cool as the quarter pipe, but it's something different, something new. So when you're wanting to do new tricks, look at obstacles that people don't skate, like the corner of things, like the corner of these stairs. Also think about coming at a different angle, like maybe you're coming up this ramp manualing this, or maybe you're using the flat part of this to get speed to jump over this. Think about weird angles at the skate park, maybe a way that people usually don't skate. Objects at the skate park that don't normally make sense, like this Euro gap, it's unskatable. They did a horrible job on it, but you could maybe use this to hit these stairs in a different way. Just try to find different things. You know, you could wall ride down this. Weird things may be stationary or something like a power ollie off this. Something that nobody's ever done before. Maybe using the edge of the skate park as a ramp, you know, or going off into the grass. This is going to sound like some hippie stuff, but be one with your skateboard to the point where it's like you don't even exist and the skateboard and you are one it's like you're just floating around the park skate till you're tired and exhausted and keep skating just skate 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 use skateboarding for everything it's worth pull everything out of it that you can so use it uh, to get over your stress it's a stress relief it's exercise it's creativity it's art it is a way to make friends use it to meet people, use it to get out of your house, use it to survive, you know, just to make it. If you're depressed, skateboard. If you're lonely, skateboard. If you're happy, skateboard. If you're sad, skateboard. If you're mad, skateboard. Sometimes being mad and skating helps you get over the anger, but it also helps you skate better because you can use that anger. You can use that for your benefit instead of for your detriment. Your skateboard doesn't care if you have any friends. Your skateboard doesn't care if you have a girlfriend. Skateboarding doesn't care if you are uncool. Skateboarding doesn't care if you're old, if you're fat. Skateboarding doesn't care if you're dumb. Skateboarding doesn't care <laughs> if you've got kids or not. Uh, yeah, skateboarding doesn't care. So it doesn't matter who you are. I think your 30s could be like your prime of your skateboarding. I think some pros are better in their 30s than they are in their 20s. Your skateboard's not gonna break up with you. It might break, uh, but it's not gonna hurt you. Well, it might physically hurt you, but it's not gonna emotionally hurt you as bad as people. You know, it's always gonna be there for you. Even if my skateboard hurt me, it's not actually the skateboard that's hurting me. It's me hurting myself. And I'd rather hurt myself than have someone else hurt me because then I don't have anybody that I have to forgive, you know? You know how it feels when someone else hurts you or if someone else were to kill you or something? It'd be hard to forgive them. But if you do it to yourself, it, for some reason it's easier. You know what I mean? 
maybe I'm weird in that. Maybe others are different, but I have a lot easier time forgiving myself for something I've done to myself than I do at forgiving other people for things that I feel like they've done to me. You know, sometimes I feel like I hold grudges towards other people more than I do towards myself. But through therapy and stuff, you know, you could work through that. The Fuji X-T2 is a cheap beast for cinematography. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope it inspired you to learn a new trick or progress at skateboarding in some way. Again, if you're keeping your options open as far as making income outside of your normal job, hit me up in the comment section below. If you're looking for nutrition, check out those links in my description. Uh, I've also got some eBay stuff I'm selling. I'm still selling skate stuff. I've still got one pair of indies I need to sell. Buy them. I need the money. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.